Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today is day 340. I'm playing chess every day until 2000 ELO. And we're at 1915, trying to find a 1510 game because we haven't been able to get into a 1510 lately. It just takes so long to find a match for some reason. So we've been playing a lot of 10 0. We've been having success. We actually reached a new peak of, I think it was like 1924. It was off camera, but. Yeah, the 10 0 games are wild. When we find our first opponent, we get the black pieces, go e4, and uh, what kind of Karo are we going to see? Tartakauer, probably? No, we see the main line. So I like to go h5. Most times they'll play h4. And then we're going to play queen to c7. The point of h4 or h5 is basically to just to play h4 and kick the knight away because this is not a natural square for the knight. And the knight has traveled here, here, to here. So if he allows me to get one more tempo, we're on move five currently, and the knight's already moved three times. So move six, it would have moved four times if he allows me to play this. So he does not do that. So we go here. It just hangs a pawn. But am I playing this completely wrong? Why did I do that? I always play like this, though. Yeah, why? Oh, that's their pawn. What is wrong with me? Okay. This is going to be an interesting day. If on move six, in two minutes into the uh, into the video, I thought that they hung their own, or I hung their pawn. Oh boy. Okay, let's just reset. Just reset. That was really, really weird. Yeah, so let's go bishop g4. We hit the queen. It's kind of the whole point of queen to c7, is so that they can't play f3 here. Because if they play f3, then they hang their knight with check. And they developed that way. Interesting. So they... And what are they doing? Are they trying to enable f3 here? Maybe. Maybe they are. Maybe. Very interesting play. Hmm. So if f3 is coming, I probably don't want to play e5 or e4 or e6. Jeez. Because my plan was to play e6 instead of e5. Although e5 is definitely playable. And maybe e5 right now. e5, if they take, we just take. We're pretty happy with that position. e5, they can't really push. We just take. e5 actually stops any of this. Cuts out the thing. So if they were to play here, we just go back. Huh. I could also try to kick this bishop away. I could also develop here. But then this. That's kind of the issue. Because they're threatening to play f3 right now. And then I'd have to damage the structure. Can't go here. Which is why I kind of think this is good. F3. We come probably back to here. And then we could take. Okay, let's play. Let's play E5. If they take and allow this, then we have a lot of pressure down the file. It's kind of my thought process. That was a two and a half minute move. We need to probably speed up a little bit. And we always have checks over here too. Good to note. This is weakening. So, okay. They just castle. Interesting. Honestly, I did not expect them to just castle. So maybe I should just get the bishop out now. Takes, we would take. And then castle. If takes, queen takes. I don't love it. I want to develop before we don't have a chance. Once again, if they push, we just go ahead and take. So I think bishop here is very reasonable. The knight on e2 feels awkward, but it's actually doing a good job. I really want to avoid having to put the bishop on uh, on e6. But now that he's played like this and castled, I don't think he'll play f3. I think it would be a mistake, although it does really kind of weaken my position if I play bishop e6. Yeah, okay, he goes for that. Interesting. I really didn't think he was going to. So I go here, takes, takes. I mean, this diagonal is just so weak now. I guess we got to go back. He'll probably take and take. So immediately after takes, we're threatening to win a piece, if that were to happen. And we always have to be careful, because this is a fork. However, however, there's nothing protecting it at the moment. And on takes, if the queen were to take, well, right now it just loses a piece, but I would be thinking about how to utilize this weak diagonal. So once I get my king safe, which I don't know if I want to castle this way yet or not, I'm kind of wanting to play this in castle long, but I don't know if I have time for that. I'm surprised he's not taking. A move like this would seem understandable. Yeah, don't know, don't know. Okay, yeah, he takes. 
So we're going to take here. And if we get this in, I mean, we're going to have a pretty strong center. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Maybe it's not so simple. Takes, knight takes. If I take the free piece, he comes in with tempo. Attacking this pawn with check and the queen. Hmm. Goes there. Wow. I mean, I kind of want to play this. Takes, knight takes. But now this is permanently, like, weak. Here, knight takes, bishop takes, bishop takes. Rook takes, I guess. We have to be careful. We can't allow him to take. We have to decide right now what we're doing. Taking this way. I don't really love it. Although it does open up this diagonal. Knight here. No, because this pawn becomes so weak. Knight takes. Knight takes. Can I take here now? Bishop takes. Not really. See, the problem is our king is in the center of the board. We do this a lot. I don't really want to open up his rook. But I also don't want to open up his queen. I guess we can always get the queen out with check. But then he plays here. He can't. Okay. We're going to take here. If queen takes, we play knight here. And it's very simple. If this, we're still probably going to play knight here. And if takes, we go check. And then we're going to probably plan the castle. Which we can't even castle if the knight's there. Huh. Maybe I can pin. Should I pin? But then just king here, more than likely. I could also move the queen here to pin and get out of the way. Or I could go like this. He takes, check. King here. We can't castle. That bothers me. I could castle now this way. As crazy as that seems, and just go into a fork, um, which we could get out of, but if I can just consolidate, I'm going to be very good because I'm going to have a knight on g4. And the knight on g4 is going to be very, very strong because he doesn't even have a light squared bishop to get rid of it. What if I just push? Pawn takes, bishop takes. We're threatening the piece because we're going to lose this pawn. So what if we just trade it off now? But then we're still two moves away from castling. Here, here, here. If ever this, we go check. But then this piece is weak, maybe? No, because then we're here. Okay, let's push. Let's push through. We're being very risky right now. <laughs> very, very risky. Well, but what's the point of playing chess if you're going to play, you know, super duper safe chess? Um, yeah, that's a good move, actually. Actually, that is a very good move. So he's starting to take. Take. This would be pinned. So maybe we just play knight here. Let's play knight here. Now we're threatening to castle next move. Takes, we're still fine. The square is held by three pieces. He won't have enough time to protect it. Knight goes there. So he's threatening this pawn? I can go bishop here, check. Castles, takes. I don't think taking's a good move. But then here, he would go here, which hits my queen and rook. But then we can go check, and then he goes here, and we lose the exchange. So that's not possible. Not the biggest fan of giving him this bishop. I could also just castle here. I don't want to castle this way though. I really don't. Queen takes, and then he takes here. Uh, but maybe it's the best move to castle short here. And save the pawn. Attack. He takes. I take. No, because then our king's just in the center of the board. So we castle short or long here. Or we save the bishop. In which case he'll go here. I would take. He takes. And we could come in with tempo. So wait, wait, wait. So I go here to save the bishop. Can I castle long? He comes in with check. Check here if takes. I, I'm going to go here. I think this is fine. We want to save this bishop or at least get his bishop. And then we can castle this way. Give the pawn. He just moves to the side. Okay. So castle, take. Now we can't go here because there's this fork. So we need to move this queen. So castle, the rook will be on d8. Let's castle. Takes. We need to protect this. And that's it. Or just move the queen. Takes. Really? I feel like I should just take... No, he's going to get this pawn. What am I talking about? Knight takes. Knight takes. He's attacking this. And threatening the fork. Then we can go here. So many things hanging. Knight takes. Knight takes. Rook here. It's my queen. And the bishop. So everything would be overloaded. Wouldn't it? Also go here and pin, but then he takes. Then we can take here. But then I get pinned. Ooh, whatever I take with gets pinned, doesn't it? Maybe we should just go here. If I go here, then there's tactics, though. Takes and takes. If I go here, queen takes, knight takes, he takes. There's no fork threatened, so then I can just go here. But then he's just up a pawn. I think it's okay, though. Let's try to trade.
here, he can go here. No, now let's jump here. We have that. I just feel like our, our, our pieces are more active. So 90, 96, we have to go rook d5. And he doesn't have c4 because knight takes. We could actually think about playing knight f2 check, followed by knight g4. That looks pretty strong, because then the, the knights are just cemented in there. And they cover up all the squares except for this one. So that he would have to sack the exchange, I think. Yeah, he's he's seeing the, the issue there. I think I can still go check. No. No, no, no. But this bishop's pretty important. So I am thinking of this. Yeah, let's go ahead. Drop the bishop back. Save it. No point in saving or using a lot of time there. Bishop comes in. Very logical. If I go here, I'm attacking this. It has to go here. I feel like the knight's almost trapped, but it's not. I'd go here and attack this knight. Then we could have potential stuff on this file. Let's see. Let's go ahead and attack the knight. Because I could still, I still like this idea with like check and going here. Knight has limited squares. I mean, the only real square it can go to is here or here. I mean, it can go here, but then check. If it goes here, we have takes, takes, and then check. Takes is protecting it, so never mind. His bishop is very strong, though. We probably need to get rid of it. He just protects. If I could just get a knight here, is that possible? My knight would have to be positioned here. I'm thinking bishop back to attack his, because this is such a nice outpost. Let's go back. Let's try to trade that off right now. Oh, but he's going to go knight here. It's not looking so great. Knight here to hit this. Yeah. So if I take, he takes here. And if I just go back, takes. It's attacking it twice. Yeah, shoot. I think I just have to give the exchange here. I didn't really want to give the exchange, but what can you do, right? What can you do? Let's take the pawn. Okay, we got three minutes. It does not look very promising for me. He pushes. Wow. What a move. That's kind of a bold move, in my opinion. Let's go all the way back and plan to put it, put it on this diagonal. Because now I want to push. Kind of my idea. To open up the rook. I don't know if it's a good one, but that is what I'm thinking. He does have checks. King comes up. So there's a forking idea here. So let's let's play this. Let's attack this. If it, the knight moves, we can go here and get the exchange back. Yeah, but then we have to be careful because the only thing protecting the knight is the other knight. So if takes, takes, check. Yeah, because we can get the exchange here. He goes, wait, wait, so check. If this, this, then he takes. More pieces that come off. <sighs> I don't love it. King takes is likely. Rook takes. No, that's a blunder. It's also a blunder. Jeez, everything's a blunder in these positions. Oh boy. Maybe I need to bring the king up. No. What do I need to do here? I don't want to play king here. But I'm going to. Yeah, I think we're just totally lost. I'm going to play a 10 plus 0 after this. Mm -hmm. uh, da -da -da. Yeah, we're just going to lose. Honestly... No, we're not going to resign. I was going to resign. I feel like resigning. We're going to resign. Some of you guys are going to give me trash for that, but I don't feel like playing this. We're going to lose anyways. My opponent played with a 77. I played with a 71.4. I had a couple misses, but let's go through it. Um, Yeah, this is how I like to play. And this was a mistake. So we got too aggressive with it. We should have just played e6. And pushing. Yeah, we weren't prioritizing castling. And then I thought my knights were stronger than they were. But he just did a very good job of counteracting everything. Taking was wrong. I should have went here. I pretty I, I knew I shouldn't be trading. And I guess this eh. Yeah, because I guess if he just like plays something like this, we're threatening to go here. And uh, we get the exchange back. But we just trade. And there's he's just going to win this. Yeah. Anyways, um, 19 perf 1900 performance elo for him, 1750 for me. Let's uh, let's play a 10 plus 0. This is not fine, bro says. So we're going to play a little bit quicker in this game because it's 10 plus 0. We're getting like the exact same position. 
except they play there, which is so odd. What even is that? Okay, we're going to play like this. Brother, isn't that just a blunder? Don't you just go check and you have to go back? Let's go here, target this pawn, have eyes on here. I guess he's castling pretty quickly. We're going to target the queen. If he goes to f3, he blunders to uh, bishop c4, or g4, sorry. Bishop g4. Queen comes up. I kind of want to play like this, and then plan to fianchetto. So that's what we're going to do. Rose being very annoying. Can offer a queen trade? No, don't go there. Oh, did we just trap? We just trapped our queen. Guys, no way. No way, we actually trapped our queen. Okay, let's attack the queen. Every time, I swear, every time that I try to film a 10 plus 0 on camera, it just goes horrible. But when I play off camera, people suck, and I don't miss stupid shit. Like, <laughs> I don't understand. Like, literally move 10, I've already got my queen trapped. Like, it doesn't get any stupider than that. Plus, like, what is this stupid fucking opening, man? Yeah, so here I needed to realize that this was a threat. That was the idea of this. So stupid, man. Oh, well. I'll just continue to play off camera and, you know. Yeah, we're just going to resign and uh, it it is what it is. Um, dude played with a 94. He caught me in some opening trick. I mean, bringing the queen out was a bad move because he just goes back. So let's just play queen b6 instead, which is where my queen went anyways. And then, yeah, we just failed to realize what he was threatening. And, uh, yeah. Congratulations, bro. Congratulations. <laughs> For now on, you won't be seeing 10 plus 0. So if you see rating fluctuations, sorry. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. 